us to read uh, two passages of scripture together. Acts of Apostles chapter 4, verse 13 to 6. We read together. If I can have NK, N, New King James Version, I will appreciate that. Acts of Apostles chapter 4, verse 13 to 6. We are from reading from 13 to 16. Can we go? One, two, three. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and peace that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled, and they realized that they had been with Jesus. And seeing the man who had been ill standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to this man? For indeed, that a notable miracle has been done through them is evident to all who dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. I say to somebody that what God is going to do in your life this month, no man will be able to deny it. Because it will be clear for every man from him that this can only be the hand of God in the name of Jesus. Can you please have your seat in his presence? Once again, we welcome you even to the house of your father. And we pray that this month, what he has proposed to do in your life, he will do it in the name of Jesus. So I bring the word to you this morning titled, Notable Miracles Can Be Yours. Notable miracles can be yours. It can be mine. What is a miracle? A miracle is a divine operation that transcends what is normally perceived as natural law. It's above any natural, it's not a, it's not a thing that a natural law can explain. It is defined as an extraordinary event in the physical world that, that surpasses all human or natural powers. And the only thing, the only they can only ascribe to it is, that it is by supernatural power. I want to say that miracles are the prerogative of God. God is the only one who has the control over miracles. He's, he's, miracles are his exclusive prerogative and cannot be denied by even any contrary power. And that's giving assurance that what God has proposed to do in your life, no contrary power will be able to get say it this month in the name of Jesus. This month, God is not just going to perform miracles in your life. Rather, the type the world cannot deny. The type that, that will manifest that God will, that, will see, that everybody will see. And I pray just as we have been told, that you will cooperate with the maker, your maker in the name of Jesus. I pray that in this 11 month, God will give you a miracle that will silence all those who have been mocking you. I, I, I said, I see, I can see a total transformation in your life. That somebody's life will, will receive a total, complete transformation in the name of Jesus. In Acts of Apostles chapter 3, we all know the story. We are told of a man who, who, who was born blind, who was born crippled. From the, that, uh, uh, not that maybe after he was born. We are told that he was born crippled. He could not walk. And we, and we are told in that chapter 3 that that man was being laid on a daily basis at the, at the, put, at the beautiful gate. But one day, just like today, his story changed. Peter and John was, walk, was going to the temple in, to pray. And they saw him. And that's the beginning. So and in that, our, in that uh, uh, small uh, verses that we read, after they, after they have performed that miracle on this man, we are told that people that carry him daily at the gate, at, uh, the miracle caused opera in the city. The miracle that the, the man, that the man that nobody, nobody knew before, that only people that are about to enter the temple only knew him. The miracle that God did in his life caused uproar in the whole city. 
And, and we are told that people, crowd gathered around him. Crowd gathered around John and Peter. And we are told that Peter sees that opportunity to preach the gospel. The boldness and the message of, of Peter and John ruffled the, that message did not go well with the, with, with the leaders of time. The, 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 the priest, the captain of the, of the Tanabaku, they felt offended. And we are told that they arrested Peter and John. We are told that they were, they were arrested and they were put in prison that to decide their case the following day. So on the, on the, on the second day, they were brought before the, before the panel to educate their case. But when they are educating their case, the second day, the ruler discovered that there was no prima facie, facie case against them. Because they could see the man that was, that was, was crippled before the man now walking be, beside them. And in that scripture that we read in, chapter, in, in verse 14, the Bible says, it says, and seeing the man. Seeing the man. And that's why I know I, I'm so confident that what God is going to do in your life this month, it will be clear to every man. It, it, it will not be hidden. It will not be hidden that, okay, oh, maybe this, maybe that. It will be clear to, to people that this can only be God. That you serve somebody on your behalf this month, somebody will testify that you serve a living God. He said, and seeing the man who had been here standing with them, they could say nothing against him. No man will be able to say nothing against you this, as this year come to a close. They could see, they could see a man who could not walk, but now walk. They could see a man who used to sit by the, by the roadside, but now inside the temple. They could see a, he used to be carried by a friend, but now he was now on his own, independent. No, he doesn't have to be begging people to carry him. He cannot, he cannot, he cannot take charge of his own, of his own, of his, of his, of his own destiny. And out of shame, out of shame, they do, they, they, out of shame, they ask, they, they ask the, uh, John and Peter and the, and, the, and the man to step aside from the, from the courtroom. Verse 14. In, and verse, for, verse 15, please. He said, but when they have commanded them to go aside, they could not, they could not debate their case in their front because it was a shame on, for them. So they asked them to step out of the courtroom. They asked them to step out of the courtroom. It's when they have commanded them to go outside of the council, they conferred among themselves. People, your issue will be discussed this, this month. Because of what God's going to your issue, brother, brother, your issue will be discussed. Because, they, because what God will do in your life is to, is to attract attention. It will attract, it will attract people to discuss. He said they conferred among themselves. They conferred among themselves. Saying, what shall we do to this man? What can we do to them? For indeed, that a, notab a notable miracle has been done. And we cannot deny it. We cannot deny it. I may not know where you are relying on people to carry you. I may not know it. I may not know the, in which area of your life that you are relying on people to carry you. Or, or in which area of your life you are weak. Or looking up for heaven for a miracle. I mean, not, what, my house, are you here this morning and people are freezing you up? Or maybe you are even the one who are freezing yourself up. So I say, oh, the year is about to end. What I, I intend to achieve this year, I have not achieved it. I want to say to you that God has set his eyes on you this month. God, God's eyes have been set on you this month in the name of Jesus. Your story will end with testimony. I say your story will end with testimony. The, test, the story of your life will end with testimony. In this year, 2024, in the name of Jesus, your story will end with testimony. The man we are told was about 40 years old. But 
God did not give up on him. God picked him up. God picked him up. God picked up his fight. And I say to you, God is picking up your fight this month. God pick up his fight after 40 years. God pick up his fight. And God is working on your fight this month. Because it is your turn. I say it is your turn. It is your turn in the name of Jesus. In, the, in our team this month, this month, it's not just miracle. But we are told, no table, miracle. So I want to dwell a little bit about that word, no table. Why no table? There are miracles, my brothers, and there are miracles. For us to be here this morning, it's a miracle. For us to sleep and wake up, it's a miracle. During the course of the week, I, I, I listened to one message, and the man, the man of God said, he said, there are drugs. He said, if a man is unable to sleep, there are drugs that can put him to bed. But there's no drug that can wake a man from sleep. So that you are here this morning is because you have experienced a miracle. Miracle of sleeping and waking up is a miracle. This miracle that it's a miracle for a, a, a woman to conceive and, and, to, and the child to be born. And we see, and we see, we have seen. We have seen in our, uh, all of us. We are, they gave back to us one day. We started after some time. We started talking. After some time, we started crawling. We started talking and we started walking. That's a miracle that no man can explain. That's a miracle. But it's, that one, uh, that one has become a common miracle to all of us. But what God is going to do in your life this month is going to be notable. It's going to be notable. So what is notable? A notable miracle is an undeniable manifestation of the power of God that cannot be denied. It means something or someone or someone that is significant. This, in this story, a virtually unknown man became the talk of the town. He became the talk of the town. I pray that God will give you a severe miracle that will announce you to the world, even this month in the name of Jesus. That God will rock to you. God will give you something that the world will talk about this month in the name of Jesus. What is, what is notable? Notable also means something that is unusual enough to deserve attention. Unusual. That is, ah, this is so, look so strange that people have to comment on it. Oh, that okay, oh, you may you, you may even be the, you may be the least expected. You may be the least qualified. You may be the last person to enter that place. But when your case attracts undeserved attention, undeserved merit, will, of course, it, it has to attract attention. People have to comment on it. People have to comment on it. Enough, unusual enough to deserve attention. This man miracle was so un, was unusual enough to draw attention. They see a man who has been born, who has been born crippled, who has never worked for his 40 years of, of life. Suddenly, without medicine, without no drug, the man started jumping. And he said, will not, will, will not attract attention. May your, may your life attract unusual spiritual involvement this month in the name of Jesus. What is notable? Notable means something or someone that is outstanding or, or extraordinary. This miracle stood out from other miracles. In fact, in, this, in the scripture, there are miracles. But the, the Bible tells us that there are 10 most important miracles in, in, in the scripture. So that means that there are notables. It was a remark, it was a remark miracle that made him the focus of attention on the, on the center stage. My prayer is that this month, God will wrought in our lives and through us notable miracles in the name of Jesus. What God's going to do, it will be worthy of note in the name of Jesus. This man's miracle was worthy of note. All those who knew him, crippled and begging for, for as long as they remember, had to notice that he was no longer there. They used to see him by the, by the beautiful gate. But they know, they, but, they, but it, it became it became dull on them 
that they will never see this man at this bridge before. I don't know where people have been seeing you before. But as you, as you join this year, you know, they will no longer see you there in the name of Jesus. Because you have moved. You will have moved. That man moved from that place where they used to see, where they used to saw him, where they used to see him. And they, they, it came on them. It, they, it turned on them that this man will no longer be there. By the time I come here this tomorrow, this uh, is last time we will be seeing this man at this spot. I don't know where they have been seeing you. This month, add an end in the name of Jesus. May the miracle that will make men notice you for good locate you this month in the name of Jesus. So what are we, what are we, what, what is God expecting from us even this month? He started, for us to, we have to continue to spend quality time in the presence of God. Spend quality. The importance of having private time to pray, to study, and do what? And to um, have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, the enabler of, of, notable, of notable miracles cannot be emphasized. Well, no, in the scripture, we have so many examples of them. Everything happened, even this miracle we are told, we have been told, the, Peter and John were going to the house to pray. They are going to, they, they are going to us. To go and pray. It happens during time of prayer. Even the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the 8,000 people that was one, was one in the kingdom of God took place after they have tarried at the upper room. So this month, as you join this month, please find time to tarry. Find time to tarry before your maker. Have quality time to talk to your maker. So to study his word. And to fellowship. Also, you need to issue a command. I don't know the notable command, the notable command or miracle you want, but you have to issue a command. When we look, we, Bible tells us that we are, we are, we are, we are little God and, our, and we are like our father, and our father issue command. So, being the person of God, filled with, the, with his word, and having faith in him, we need to issue a command to experience the miracle. The story of the fig tree that Jesus Christ caused really comes to my mind. We all know the story. In Mark chapter 11, verse 4, is, 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 um, we are told that Jesus Christ was passing by and he was hungry and he saw a fig tree and hoped to, see, to, uh, to get fruit from the, from the tree. And he, got the, and he approached the tree and the, uh, the, there, was no, uh, there, was no, there was no fruit. So he, he, we are told that he caused that tree. And he, and he said to his, and he said, then he said to the Mark chapter eleven verse fourteen. Then he said to the tree, "May no one ever eat from your from you again." He was not negotiating with the tree. He's not negotiating with the tree. He just issued a command. And his disciple had uh, and, and and his disciple had him say it. Then from verse twenty to twenty four, we are told that they were coming back the second day, and his disciple saw the tree that the, Jesus Christ has caused that everything has withered. From the from the road, then they ask, they ask then then they ask Jesus Christ said, Rabbi, the, look the fig tree you cursed has withered. And Jesus Christ said, he said, have faith in God. Truly I say to you, if anyone say to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their mouth in their heart, but believe what they have said will happen, it will be done to them. So this month, issue command even concerning that notable miracles. You expect. Issue command. And, and as you issue that command, it will hear you in the name of Jesus. Speak to the mountain. Speak to as you go this month. Speak to that mountain. Speak to that fig tree. Speak to that disease. Speak to your finances and command even the demon, whatever the demon that is operating in your life, to, 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 to permuse in the name of Jesus. Also, we need to be specific. We need to be specific. So the way, when we look at the scripture, when we look at the life of our Jesus Christ, it was specific. When he was talking to the wind, he, said, he, when he was talking to the wind and the, and the sea, he said, peace, be still. When he was talking to the fruit tree, he said, no, 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 no fruit to come on, on, on you again. When he was talking to the mountain, his, his command was clear, be removed and be cast into the sea. When he was talking to the demon, to the demon of, 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 of the man of 
gatherer. He said, be quiet and come out of him. Be specific to, to the dead guy, to the, to the, to the, the, the dead uh, small guy. He said, little, he said, little guy, arise. Yes. And to the, his friend Lazarus, who, whose blood was decaying the, the in the grave, he said, Lazarus, come forth. So be specific. Don't just be big about the bush. Know what you want from God, what you want God, the notable God you want, you want God to do for you this, this month. Be specific and issue command to that effect. Be specific. Also, we need to appropriate the answer immediately. Don't just speak as if I just speak it. Pray with the expectation that, that, you, that you, your prayer is being answered. Mark chapter 11, verse 24 says, He said, Whatever you ask in prayer, Mark 11, 24, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you receive it. Believe, and it will be yours. It will be yours. Miracle prayer reaches, in, reaches into the invisible world and know precisely that answer has come. Not we come. When you pray, believe that the answer has that you, that, that, that the answer. Is, uh, has come. Also, you have to be, you have to have unity of the spirit. Unity of the spirit. Matthew 18, verse 19. Matthew 18, verse 19. He said, if two on earth, if two on earth agree, be done for them. Talking about agreement. In the realm of the miracles, the, the agreement is, is between the spirit of God and our human spirit. So as you go this month, let, let your spirit be in, be, be in agreement with the spirit of God. From the scripture, we can see notable miracles to break among the like-minded like, like like people. Like-minded people. On the day of Pentecost, we are told that they were in, they were in upper room in agreement, in agreement, and God wrought a miracle to them. In that, in in in, in that, uh, this, in this story too, when you look, when you look, when you read out of Apostle chapter three verse one, the Bible tells us that the, 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 the Bible was so specific. It did not say that uh, John and Peter were just going to the uh, temple to pray. He said they are going. He said Peter and John are praying, are going together. That they were together in the spirit. They were, their spirit connected to each other. He said, the, after Apostle chapter 3, he said, now and Peter went up together. They are not just going to the church. They are together in the spirit. Their spirit connected to each other. So be in agreement. Agreement, the power of agreement cannot ever be oversight. When, when, when the congregation has the same, the, the same spirit, it, the power of God can easily move. And that's what we see when, when, when a, a, a congregation or maybe a small congregation, when they are, because they, they, no one is having an alternative or ulterior motive, they, all of them are in the same agreement. Very easily, the power of God will move. The power of God will move. And when you're talking about agreement, God Himself testified about agreement. We all know the story of the story of Babel. He told, although they are doing something evil, but God Himself con confessed. He said, "If if if, if nothing can stop them, because they are what together. May God, may, may God, may God deliver His church from everything, every every contrary spirit in the name of Jesus. And lastly." must have faith in God. You must have faith in God. Faith, as we have been told, is the title deed to the things we offer and the, and the evidence of things we have not yet seen. So as you go this month, the word of God has been spoken. God has spoken. God has given his daughter uh, the message for this month. So I, I implore you, hear it. The Bible tells us that faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing the word of the God. And I will close this morning with 
Pat Robertson testimony. One of blessed testimony, one of Pat Robertson, the donor on the Christian broadcasting on CBN, the later it was done. He said he was in, he, he was, he said he, he came to uh, uh, New York in 1957 for a business trip. He said he came for a business trip. And why it was one night he was going to a clubhouse. Then a friend invited him to come and follow him to a, a fellowship. So he said, he said he followed him. He said because they are business, uh, he, he was the one who uh, he was in the company that he, he came to to the business. So he said, so so to call those shows, he said that night he he met the Lord and he gave his life to Christ. He said that night. He felt an uneasy in his, in his spirit that, that he needs to enroll in a seminary school. He said, although he, he, was from, he, 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 he came, he was from Virginia, he grew up in Virginia, but he, he just came for a business trip in, in, uh, in New York. He said, so, he said, the second day, he, he, he enrolled in a seminary school. He, he, he found out and he enrolled just to take him for maybe just to have a knowledge of even the, the relationship he had just entered and he expect to finish in maybe three months. He said, after a month, he said, to, okay, I, I need to know this God more, more deeper. So he said, so he converted his, uh, from a certificate on the, on to a master degree. So he, so, so, he said, so he was in that college for three years while he's still, work, while he's still doing his business. He said, after he graduated from the seminary school, and I started asking God, God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And he said, and he said God referred him to the story. He said he was praying, and God referred him to the, that what, oh, stop asking me, what did I tell the man, the rich, the rich, uh, what did Jesus Christ tell the rich, uh, the, rich uh, the, uh, the rich man? I think it was in John chapter 16. And that is, he said, oh, he said he was talking about, what are you talking about? He said, by that time, he has got married. He has three little children. He said, so one weekend, he took uh, the car. He, he said, he had no, more, no money. So he said, he took his car. He said, the car was given to them as a, uh, uh, was given to them as by the uh, mother's, mother's I mean, wife's father. He said, because he, he, had, he had no money to buy a car. He said, so uh, uh, he said one weekend he just took the car and, and took his children and, the, and the, the wife. He, so he, he said he drove to Virginia to go and meet his parents. He said, so why dear? Somebody came to him that I want you to come and buy a TV station. TV station. I didn't even know anything about TV. I didn't even have ten, I didn't even have one cent to buy, even to buy a tire. We are talking to buy a TV station. He said, he said, he just threw it away. He said, however, he said, on, on his way back, he dropped his parents, his, his family with, with, the, um, with the mothers, um, with the wife's family in Ohio. He said, he drove from Virginia to Ohio, dropped his family, then he drove to New York. He said, he, come, he came to New York, and he, uh, the second, that night, God told him, what I asked you to do, you have not done it. I should sell all my things. So he said, he called his wife in Ohio. Well, my wife, has, God has been working on me. God is leading me to John chapter 16, verse 33. I, I think that's the verse. That go and sell all things. The wife did not look at the scripture. The wife did not check the scripture to know what the self scripture is actually talking about. Oh, the, the, the wife just said, okay, whatever God asks you to do, just do it. So the second day, he auctioned all his property, including his children's bed. Including his children's student bed. He auctioned everything in, here in New York. He auctioned everything. And everything, he realized, he realized $55. He realized $55. So he said the second day, his wife called their phone number. Because by that time, there's no cell phone. It's a land phone. The phone has been disconnected. So after some time, he was able to get in touch with him at his job. So I said, well, I just called our phone. The phone, has, uh, the phone has been disconnected. It was transferred me to Brooklyn. 
What's going on? I said, I told you, um, jo, God asked me to go to jo, um, um, John 16, verse 33, and I did it. What is, jo, what is John 16? What is, in jo, what is in John? What is in John 16, 33? What, 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 what is in there? He said, God said, I, I should sell everything. You said, you did what? I said, I saw everything, including the, your children's bed. He said, the woman, the woman asked her, are you out of your mind? But I, but, but I told you, and you said I should go ahead and do what, whatever God has laid in my heart. So the court was short, was short. He went and discussed him with, with a friend. And after a few weeks, with everything else, he left New York. $70. $70. The TV station that he, he wants to go and buy, he did not even know the owner. So he prayed. God told him that that TV station is going to cost you. Oh, he said, um, um, one night while he was praying, God told him, he said, I want you to take over the control. I want you to snatch the control of the airwave from the prince of the ear and give it to the Prince of Peace. That was the message he received. He said, I want you to take control of the, I want you to snatch the control of the year wave from the Prince of the Year to, and give it to the Prince of Peace. So he said he got to Virginia, and he, officially he met the man. He has no tent, he has no money. The man said, how much do you have? He said, while he was praying, God told him that he's going to buy that TV for $7,000. And all his pocket, all his savings, everything he sold, everything, he has $70 in his pocket. So when he got there, he told the man, uh, what God is doing, I don't have the money, but I know that God who has said it, will do it. Man said, give it three months. Okay, the money came. In that three months. He said, how the money came? You know. He said, and that's how he, he established the first TV station for Christians in the whole world. We all, we all, we all of us, when we are growing up, we all know CBN all over the world. That's how he established. May you. Yeah, we have prayed this morning. Our sister have prayed this morning. May we hear from God. May we see far in the name of Jesus. That as you go this week, because notable miracle is not about bread and butter. God, what God may want to do in your life is not. It may not be where you are looking at. But may I, my prayer is that may God use you in the way He wants to use you. May you, God accomplish in your life what he wants to accomplish in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want you to rise up even this morning. I want you to rise. I want you to thank God. I want you to thank him. Thank God for the, day, the daily manifestation of miracles in your life. Appreciate him for the notable miracles. He's designing for delivery. God is designing a, some miracles to, to deliver for you this month. God is designing them. God is manufacturing them for your delivery. You want to thank him because he's going to be delivered. Those miracles are going to be delivered. Those miracles are going to be delivered at your first step. Lord, we bless your name. We want to thank God. We want to desire. Lord, Father, I desire a notable miracle for me and my household before the end of this year. We want to talk to God. Father, I desire a notable miracle for myself and my household before the end of this year. I trust you. I trust your word, O Lord, that you never lie, that you have spoken in my ears. You will do. You have spoken. You have spoken. Lord, I desire. I desire. You said my desire. You said my, 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 my expectation is my manifestation. My expectation is the, is the mother of, a, of, 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 of manifestation. Lord, I desire a notable miracle for me. I'm going to ask for this month in the name of Jesus God. You want to pray, Father? Let notable miracles 
Close my tabernacle this month in the name of Jesus God. Lord, we pray even this morning as a church, oh Lord, let notable miracles, oh God. Let it flood our tabernacles, oh Lord. Let it flood our tabernacles this month, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus God. Lord, you are not a liar. You are not a liar, Lord. Is that what you have spoken, oh God, you will do, Lord? Is that no, no, your word will never go forth, oh God, and come back to you for the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your word, oh Lord. Lord, we ask, oh God, this morning that as a church, oh Lord, before the end of this year, Lord, let us encounter a very notable and undeniable miracle in the name of Jesus God. Let us, let us, oh God, as a church, oh Lord, let us, oh God, encounter an undeniable and un, un, very notable miracle in the name of Jesus God. Thank you for that saying, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. I declare over you. Job chapter 5, verse 12 says, He said, If God frustrates the devices of the captive, so that their hands could not be able to carry out their enterprise. I pray that God will bring to shame every power, every principality containing with your increase. I decree over you that God will bring to shame every power, any prosperity against uh, contending against your prosperity, against your spiritual growth, against your enlargement. In the name of Jesus God, I pray that as you go this month, God will cause, oh God, God will make this month to, to be the memorable of all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus God, and I, as you go, I want you to be on the lookout. Every morning, every, every day when you wake up, you have already expressed one miracle of sleeping and wake up. But be on the lookout. Say, God, thank God for today. Thank God for the miracle you have done. You have done. I, I appreciate you. But I'm, I'm on the lookout for the notable miracles. I am looking on, on, on a daily basis. Be on the lookout. And, and the Bible tells us that God never fails. And he will not fail you in the name of Jesus. I, I welcome you to your month of notable miracles. I welcome you to your month of notable miracles. I welcome you to your, when your life will be turning around, will turn around in the name of Jesus. Thank you for that saying, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.